Welcome back to another review, and today I'm going to take a look at the OpSpot AI powered webcam. And why is this cool? Because this webcam follows you around. So as you put this on your monitor, wherever you have it, put it right here off screen, you move around, that camera's gonna track your face and you have hand signals for zoom in, all kinds of cool stuff. But first, it's time to travel back. Let's do the unboxing. There you go, that is the box from all sides. Let's open it. There you go. That is what you get in the box. What is this? This is a protection thingy. In here, we have a tiny box. There's a piece here. Another piece. That is your cable. Let's undo this. There you go. That's a very long cable. Nice. It's always good to have long cables. This is your USB to USB-C cable. Then we have here, I think this is the mount. There we go. This will be the mount for the webcam, just in case you got to put it somewhere with a magnet. It's a strong magnet with a little, what is this? This looks like an adhesive, so you can put that on your monitor, I'm very interested because I'm gonna put that on my monitors, so that's very important. We have camera itself. In here you have warranty card, the user manual. Not a full dot, this is a flippy book here. Different languages. And here is the camera safely put into this. You can't take this out, you gotta take it out like that. There you go. That is your camera, all kinds of swivel options. We'll take a look at this once I power it up. You have a bit of a protective film over here. On the back, you have USB-C and power. That is the size, much smaller than I thought. But that is that for the very quick unboxing. Now it's time to install this and test this and I will time travel forward after a couple of weeks to see how this is going and I'm very excited. All right, I'm now in the other office and I took this out. Of course, that is the box, I took it out and let me film this. This is what you're seeing here. This is the camera, this is the attachment, this is the cable. So this is the camera again, tiny, tiny, I love it. That is the magnet stand that I put on there and that is that. So you just, I'm gonna look this here, this is where you can have the power and USB-C if it focuses, there you go. And I was gonna put this on there, clack. Oh, you can feel this. Oh, the magnet is strong. And I'm gonna cable this in, which means I'm gonna turn this off. And actually before I do, I'm gonna record on the screen what is going on. I'm gonna show you the download process, installation process, and how this works when you install this for the first time, which I'm gonna do right now. Here you can see what's happening. I'm gonna plug in the cable completely. There you go. Tracking, I have my camera on my face, probably can't see, there you go. Now it knows my face and it's green. Now what does that mean, right? I can move around and nothing's happening. Why? I gotta download the software. You can go on the Offspot Tiny page. There are two versions actually. If you can go here, you can see you got the Tiny and you got the Tail. The Tail is really neat too. It's a much bigger version. This is the auto director type camera for vlogging. You can see here, this is your commercial where you can do all kinds of stuff. It's much bigger than what you have here, but you can bring it around for outside. You can see here, crazy time as they call it, one shot pet tracking, tap lock with the app. Some really cool stuff, but that is a different camera. Wink, wink. I would love to review that one as well. Let's go back to the tiny here. This is the tiny. What you can do here, you can explore, tech spec, FAQ and buy now. You can scroll down and you can see this is the tiny camera with all the gesture control and auto white balance, all that good stuff. I will have, of course, a link in the description, but as you go down, you can see software, download. I'm gonna choose Windows and it's downloaded. Let's start. Window pops up, set up, I say next. Core component, yes, next. Accept the license, that's it's for you to read through. That is the directory and it tells me that is the space and it's installing and bam, click finish. Now, if I move this over, this has given me the beep, beep icon here. I can double click and 
there you go here is your menu let me turn this down here there you go so let's do a zoom meeting all right there's the zoom meeting there you go you can see this here and now what happens if you look at the camera i'm gonna say tap lock bam and now i found my face you can see this here i can move over i can oh, move over and i can bring this down again you can see here as i move the camera is following me i have my face slightly covered let me just turn this off and go back to this and now you can see what is going on here i'm going over there i go over there and over there it's pretty fast i can get up and i can go back down yeah oh i lost tracking nope it found it you can go quickly off screen what if i completely oh ooh, it follows me it does that's pretty cool i gotta say it's pretty fast you can also have um gestures so you can do this and if it's nicely silhouetted it will zoom in and now it will still track track whoa that is some fast tracking oh it lost me oh oh, oh. face is back face is back beep, beep. there you go go back to this and then goes out and that is that so i can go in there and say tracking as you saw here you can do a manual zoom i can just zoom in here wah, wah, wah. you can reset the gimbal and it goes back to tracking then you have the joystick where i can say let's go all the way up here you can see my light you can go all the way down oh and you can see the base here but i can go back up i can go over here there's my nerdy rope you can see the camera with the monitor and so on you can see all the stuff playing around you see my dirty messy office and so on and if you don't like any of this it will go down you can hit reset bam resets back now the sound's gonna be weird because i'm gonna step away from the mic but i'm gonna get up here Ugh, is it gonna follow me look at that it's already following so i can go back here you can hear me Ta -ta. oh <laughs> that was fast nice does it still do that if i do this oh no one does this on camera anyway. Bam. Oh, look at that. Fast. Fast tracking. So this is going to be awesome when I'm teaching. You know, hey, students, I got to get up and act stuff out. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. I have to say. Right off the bat, this works. All right. Well, that is fairly simple. That is a very easy, quick installation. Then you have your settings here. Software, firmware, ooh, update. Device status, sleep, target, gesture control, ooh, tracking mode, configure video, anti-flicker, preset position, and so on. Firmware updates. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen, but I should probably update that. Yeah, that's very cool. You can see this is still tracking. Fast forward, downloading firmware 100%. There's more, okay? reboots the camera sure do not disconnect it's fine you can see uh, the yellow light means that and you can see this in the in the manual the camera has a yellow light when it's losing the tracking so it's not updating so it's not tracking me blue is when it turns on and it's kind of booting up and everything and then green when the tracking's there just kind of like the main color functions that you want to know that if you're wondering why is it not working and you look at the color that is why Progress info is at 10%. I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna fast forward to 100%. This installation was very easy. The tracking is super fast. It's really cool. I'm very excited about this. Yeah, I'm gonna snap fast forward. Not right now, right now. Into the future. So I can test this for a couple of weeks. We'll see uh, if I find any glitches or problems or concerns or even more awesomeness. I don't know, but let's fast forward. All right, fast forward. So this has been working really well. And I'm gonna do a little test too. So there are a couple of things. A, it says in the manual that the camera can get warm. And it's warm. Now, and they also say it's normal. Sure, but I use this a lot for A, it's for my critiques, for my classes, and then work. It's constantly on. I'm concerned about the heat still. And there is no on-off switch. So if you look at the camera, you just have the cable and that's it. I, I wish that you had a button, anything where you can just turn it off. So if I film this, you can see this the camera is green. If I bring this down, it loses its tracking. So you can see it's yellow now. You can see it's all dark. And I bring it back up to my face. 
back to green and you can see that the tracking is all smooth again. But I still would love for a button just to turn this off. You can be paranoid or not. So what I got, I got an extra switch. And I'm gonna blend this in, I filmed that before. Let me actually get the right cable and it's following me. It's totally following me, I'm back. So I got something like this. So you got a switch on off for USB to USB. I mean, you have these also where you have a switch and it's USB to USB-C to plug it straight into the camera, but I want a bit lower, but I'll put a link in the description, but you can't just buy one where it's an on off switch. It has to also have data. Data has to go through. So if you just buy something that's an on off power switch, it won't work. It will turn it off, you turn it back on, the camera won't really turn on. You gotta find one that also has data transfer. Again, link in the description with the one that I bought. So now when I don't use it, I can just put my hand here and off. <laughs> just turn everything off. So I'm blending this in. You can see here, I'm filming behind the monitor. I put that in, taped it. So I can just, you can film this like that. You can bring in the hand here, boop, turn it all off. And then you can go turn it back on and it will power on, track, and the face is right there. Let me turn the camera back on this and you can do tap lock, let's go. And now it's tracking. So I have added that just because I don't want it to be hot all the time. If I don't use it, I want to completely turn it off. If there's a thing I would change or add, it would be a power on off switch, a physical one to the actual camera. What's also really cool about the camera is the low light possibility. So if you look at this here, I can do the C92. This is my other webcam here. Hold on. That one. Da, da, da. That's what I'm looking at. You can see what I'm filming here. Bring this back because I don't use it anymore. So that's the webcam, right? Obviously it doesn't track me. I was gonna do this, I'm so used to this now. Uh, it doesn't track me. But if you go back and forth, you can see the difference in terms of quality and also the field of view. The lens is gonna be different. Again, you can do your wah, wah, wah. And but it's still obviously doing all of this and I can switch and you can see, you know, if you want kind of the same thing, I can switch to the kind of tiny camera here and then maybe manually go back or do the thing with the finger, where it goes back, like whatever you want to do. But the low light is really cool. So actually, again, let me just turn things off here. There you go. It's darker. Yes. Well, somewhat darker, right? Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. I can, I'm looking at my monitor. It's pretty dark here, but let me turn it. There you go. Somewhat darker, right? Back, that's what I have, the blinds. But you can see now, in the actual camera looking into this, you can see it's fairly dark. And I can turn actually my TV off up here. There you go. So it's really dark. Clear, you can't see anything. And this is what the webcam is filming. If I switch to the other camera, bam! That is pretty dark. It's adjusting, it's trying. Yeah. But then I go back to the up spot tiny. Come on, that is pretty cool. And I don't see a change in the tracking quality. You know what I mean? I just, it's, can I do this? It does, follows everything. It's definitely a bit grainier, you know, low light quality. It does follow me. But you wanna go out, zoom out, it's great. There you go, still follows me. Oh. There you go, I'm back. Put in my hotkey for the light. Ooh. And there you go. So I think this is really impressive. I think the tracking is really, really cool. I've been using this, you know, it's constantly moving around. There's no, like the motor hasn't stopped. There's nothing where it just suddenly freezes or blocks and I got to reboot or anything. And then again, switching back and forth here between the two, that is that. And you can see slightly blown out now with my my YouTube key light type of thing, right? And if I go back to the other one, it's much more pleasing. There's no crazy highlight. Overall, I gotta say, I'm really, really, really impressed. Uh, thank you again, Offspot, for sending me this, because I'm gonna keep it. They said I could keep it, but it's not like, you know, sometimes you might do a review, like, ah, it's okay, I'm gonna go back to what I had. I am not, I'm not going back. This, and this is why it's not cabled and, and you know, put in nicely with the cable management, because, because you, my friend, are out. 
don't break it. I still probably need it for something else. But that's it. This is my replacement. The Offspot Tiny. Fantastic. Now, if you go outside and do crazier reference footage or something like that, then you might look at the Offspot Tail. Wink, wink. <laughs> I would love to try that one because it's, if this is already this awesome and you have that much of a, a, you know, like really fast tracking, moving around, it's so cool. You have that as a bigger camera, go outside for your sports or other reference stuff or anything you want to do. I would be, yeah, I'd be really interested in trying that out as well. That's, it's, I'm super, super impressed. It's not hot, hot burning. That's the only thing I would say. It's just warm and I'm concerned about daily, constant, hourly usage of something that gets warm. But again, I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and it's, I mean, you know, long classes, especially Wednesdays, like the review day. I got two Q and A's going. I got meetings during the day. I have a three hour class and critiques and then the day before critiques too. I'm really using this heavily and it's not like super hot to the touch. I'm just going to be extra careful and turn this off just like now. Bam, off. You do, I know if you have this and you've using this for weeks or months, uh, let me know, comment, let me know if you have the same and you have uh, tips and tricks or issues or no issues or just your experiences or whatever with the heat, whatever. I can only give you two thumbs up because I only have two thumbs. I would give you more thumbs because I do really, really like it. So yeah, I absolutely love it. It's been great in the classes, getting up and acting things out. And I use my mic because I have, you know, I got headphones here and I got the, argh. I got this mic for my critiques and, and classes, but it has a built-in mic as well. But it's it's okay, it's a webcam thing. It's just, I didn't really go deep into webcam audio, but again, if you don't have a mic, it has a built-in microphone and it, it, you won't need, uh, you won't need this. I just, that's the extra mic and I can turn off for the quality, it's an Elgato mic there. So I like that, I prefer that. I'm not gonna do my critiques or anything or the YouTube stuff with this camera. I do have that. Hold on. That is what I have, and that's what I use for the channel. So this is channel recording to the camera, and oh, this is the mic that I use for critiques. So I'm gonna stick with that. But again, if you need a mic, that camera has it all. It has a microphone, great tracking, and it's fairly tiny, as it says, tiny. I mean, no pun intended. I really, really like this, not just because they gave it to me, but it's just an honest opinion. It's really cool. And I'll leave a link description to the purchase link that they gave me. And uh, I think that is that. It's a longer rich clip. So as always, thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful. If you don't wanna miss any of these types of reviews, feel free to subscribe. You know, that's the pitch, it's YouTube. Like and subscribe, that thing that we gotta say but it helps my channel grow and I've been growing. So thank you for doing that. And I think that is it. Thank you to the viewers. Thank you to Opspot. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next upload.